prayers can be heard. And uh, I'm going to start talking. What's up, everybody? This is DTM. Uh, we are back with another awesome episode of the Artist King Live podcast. We have uh, an awesome guest today. And uh, I'm going to run down a couple of quick things before we get started. Uh, so number one, we want to give out a big shout out to Cinemaker for allowing us to use the uh, application that we're using here with the iPhones and the iPad. As you know, every week I, that I jump on the Facebook Live, I talk about Cinemaker. It's an awesome app. You should try it out. It's free on the App Store. And, uh, and you can use your iPhone along with the iPad to stream live to YouTube and Facebook. So most of the time I'm using it for Facebook. And uh, so you want to check them out. Big ups to them. Also Sketchable. We're going to be using the Surface Pro 4 today. And uh, Sketchable app to draw on. And uh, it's free on the Microsoft Store. So just, if you have a Windows 10 tablet or computer, you can download the app and try it out. It's, it's free to use. If you want to continue using Sketchable later on and you find that you like some of the tools that are in there, get at me because I have some special unlock codes to give away. Uh, Sketchable has been uh, awesome for the art community and I want to share that with you too. So check that out. And then uh, last but not least, I want you to check out Artist King, the website, artistking.org. On the events page, we have some uh, upcoming events, including this week we're going to be at Momocon. Uh, the next week after that, we're going to be at the Kirkwood Library doing a meetup for teens and kids. So if, you're, if you have children who are, um, I guess they're all out of school now, it's kind of graduation yep. week. So... Um, and uh, but they're still of school age and they're interested in that. they have a creative side that they're interested in then we're there to talk about that so check us out on the website for details on it and then that's and then um, the last thing I want you to know is about our uh, artist king meetup and that is at General Assembly the second Saturday of the other month and we're gonna have an awesome meetup we have an awesome Adobe user group that starts at 10 o'clock and, uh, and you don't want to miss those things so check out the website because there's a whole lot of information there Check us, check out Artist King on iTunes and uh, for with over ninety interviews with artists and entrepreneurs, and then check us out on YouTube channel where you'll see videos like this one and others uh, dealing with uh, panel discussions in the art business and entrepreneurship. All right, so this is DTM Delta Tango Mike. I am going to give you a rundown of our um, sponsors, and then we'll talk to Carlos Walk sitting right here. And I think they can see you right there. Word up. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for our sponsors. Give them a big shout out. And we'll be right back. Back, we are back. This DTM, and uh, I know you can see me and hear me. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to our special guest for this week, and uh, let, know a little bit about him, and he can tell us a little bit about his uh, path and uh, how he got where he is. So, without further ado, please, sir, tell us your name and where you're from. Hey, everybody, I'm Carlos Walks. Uh, I'm from Atlanta. The CEO and co-founder of XIQ. Um, and thanks for having me here, Daniel. Appreciate it. It's a great show. Yes, yeah, sir. You're welcome. You're from Atlanta? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, grew up here most of my life. Uh -huh. uh, grew up on the south side, down by the airport, Morrow, Georgia. <laughs> 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 okay. 
and uh, went to school here. You know, went to Georgia State University, went to high school here, and uh, you know, so it's I guess you could say I'm pretty much homegrown because I've I've lived here most of my life. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. well, because you were born in Germany. No, born in New York. New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. My wife is German. Oh, your wife is German. So, so I thought you were a military brat. I, um, I had uh, that mixed in. Uh, I'm a, I feel like I'm an honorary German. So, uh, <laughs> and my, our, our co-founder is German. So, uh, uh-huh. yeah. And you speak the language? I, I, I struggle. You know, um, <laughs> my son, he speaks the language and he's oh. laughing at me. He's five mm-hmm. now. But, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I started learning when I met my wife. Um, and I wanted to show respect for her culture, mm-hmm. but it's hard. I mean, uh, I'll go ahead and say I don't know what's harder, being an entrepreneur or learning German. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in so much trouble for saying that. Yeah, all my German brothers and sisters out there, it's tough, and you guys know it. Uh-huh. You know, but uh, okay. yeah, yeah. So um, you know, I wanted to. Uh, I, I, you know, we travel there a lot, and. Got a lot of German family, but no, you know, I grew up, like I said, born in New York, I lived in the islands for a little bit, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, I'm, I'm from here most, most of my life, from Atlanta. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. So, um, tell us a little bit about growing up, did you have this entrepreneurial spirit um, in your younger days, and if you did, what was it like, or when, when did you first see it? I would say, honestly, you know, I was always one of those kids that dabbled in a lot of different stuff. But growing up, um, I would say that I may have not been an entrepreneur and recognized and understood what that was, but I was learning Mm -hmm. lessons that would contribute to me being an entrepreneur later. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what I mean is um, I was a distance runner and, um, and the lessons learned from that experience really contributed to a lot of how I approach things now. I mean, you know, it's, it's first of all, enduring hardship. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not fun. Uh, you're training all the time. You're running all the time. You're tired. You learn how to endure. You learn how to... Uh, control your breathing so you can get through it. <laughs> or, or get through it. Right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Control a lot more than breathing. You you're control your mental capacity to, mm-hmm. to get yep. through. Yep. To really learn how to hunker down and say, listen, this is tough. But I'm, but I'm only halfway through the race. Mm-hmm. Right? I can't just quit. Mm-hmm. I've got people counting on me. That's just like being an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, or, or, you know, you're, when, when we ran track, you know, you, you're running a relay race. You can't just stop because you don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. Or right. you may be dead dog tired because mm-hmm. you had to run a mile race before. Now you got to run this. You can't just not do it. you got to show up. you got to perform. you got to be ready to get in there. Mm-hmm. That's entrepreneurship. You know, mm-hmm. you went, you tired. You going through it day in day out, no money. Mm-hmm. You know everybody wants the fat paycheck, but honestly, that comes later. You got to work. But yeah, you know, like I said, things that I learned growing up when I was young, and um, so I would say, I wasn't quite. Uh, I didn't have the entrepreneurial mindset, but you know, I always worked. Mm-hmm. I always had a job. Mm-hmm. A lot of jobs I hated. Again, well, and what was your focus uh, growing up? Because did you have like a a talent or a, a passion? Growing up, that you said, this is the career I want in the future? Um, I knew that uh, I was good with people, mm-hmm. even at a young age. I was always engaging, got along with mostly everyone. And I knew I wanted to do something that involved engaging people. I just didn't know what specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, and I knew that uh, in the beginning, I really enjoyed uh, the, the, the video medium. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reveal my age. <laughs> Tell us more about it. Because, you know, people watching now, they're just, you know, the, uh-huh. the access is so easy. There's mm-hmm. YouTube, there's Vimeo, and you, you got access to a lot of outlets to express yourself. But back when I was in high school, in the 80s, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, the visual right. medium was really in its infancy. You know, mm-hmm. you, you had, I mean... You had camcorders, mm-hmm. right? But they weren't uh, as inexpensive as today. I mean, now people use you know your smartphone to mm-hmm. record anything. It's easy to do. Yeah, back then you had to buy a camera that was this big, and it cost mm-hmm. you know two, three thousand dollars. And of course, the cost goes down. But so I would do these little projects, you know, with school equipment, 
And I started to discover, oh, the video, visual medium, this is exciting. And I started to develop a passion for that. Mm-hmm. Telling a story and really starting to understand how to connect with people in a visual medium. But yet, I wasn't quite focused yet on telling stories or doing videos. It was just something I started to do. Well, um, as I got into college, you know, I got older and got into college, I started to zero in on the visual medium. So really, what I started out doing was studying film and television and moving into acting. Mm-hmm. That's where I started. Mm-hmm. I didn't really start to ease into entrepreneurship until I was, you know, um, much older. But I will say this, as an actor or as an artist, whether you're actor, painter, sculptor, you are the product. <clears throat> Okay. Mm-hmm. You either yeah. are the product or you make the product directly. Mm-hmm. Entrepreneur. You're selling yourself. And as an actor, you are the product. You're an entrepreneur. Every audition you go to is a pitch. Pick mm-hmm. me. Pick, <laughs> no, yes, yes. Yeah. Pick me. Yeah. I'm yeah. The product yeah. that you want. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Put your investment, put me in your project because you got to invest in this. Bring me in. I did that hundreds and hundreds of times. I didn't realize that what mm-hmm. I, you know, it was. On the, on, I wasn't thinking on the entrepreneurial level just yet, but mm-hmm. if I was starting to understand. Mm-hmm. It's called show business. Mm-hmm. Business. <laughs> and you gotta show it. You gotta show it and you gotta sell it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta yep. sell it. And you gotta understand <laughs> with, with what you see on camera or the success of any actor or artist, when you see their art or their performance being shown worldwide on the visual medium you think oh I want to be that what you don't understand is that's the tip of the iceberg mm-hmm. all that's behind that all the work that comes with it all of the days the nights mm-hmm. perfecting the craft mm-hmm. all of the things that come into building you your business it, it's all woven in so anyway mm-hmm. that's the path that I was taking and I was learning a lot and you know I started doing a TV show that was essentially a startup because the term startup wasn't really being used a lot back in the, the 90s um, but you know the first television project I was on it was an independent show and we were you know we were a startup and we were doing new things on television and, and that's where I really th- started to learn from a mentor of mine the producer of the show at that time I started to learn things about building the business on that level but I again I still wasn't quite there it wasn't until I, tra- I traveled to Los Angeles and lived out there for a few years um, that I started to understand you know what I'm I'm understanding this business more and more but this is not where my passion really lies Hmm. and I think this it's crucial for a lot of people to understand you know they're always told you know go for go for your dreams and you know you got to go no matter what go for your dreams live your dreams it's like really people should be told Understand your passion and go with that. And that might not fit your dream at the moment because if you think that you want to be a singer but no one's telling you that you can't sing, sooner or later you're going to hit that brick wall Mm -hmm. and you're not going to get anywhere. Or you're going to put in the the energy, the time that it takes to improve your craft, but your passion is what's driving that. And you might not want to sing anymore. Mm -hmm. But the passion's still there. For me, I realized I didn't want to pursue this acting anymore, but my passion was still there. I was still creative. Mm-hmm. You know, I knew I had a brain. Mm-hmm. My life's not over. There are other things I want to do. That's when I started to move away from the acting into actual entrepreneurship. So it's having the passion for, for, for like a drive, having that drive and having the passion for, for all it, the preparation that it takes and having a product to sell even when... Uh, when when it, when it's your craft, it is you yeah. that you're selling. But that's the passion. Yeah. And then and then, but finding now finding a vehicle to right. use that passion towards it can always change. Yes. It and can. if you can't sing, uh, maybe it's some kind of other performance. But it's still all those elements of preparation, right. dedication, training, pitching, and then performing right. are still uh, very much part of your life. They're very mm-hmm. much part of your life, and mm-hmm. it's it's similar. You know, there are things you have to do to prepare. And a lot of people don't think about that because they see the end result. Mm-hmm. Oh, this person is just this amazing actor, artist, singer, whatever. Mm-hmm. I got to be that. And it's like, well, do you know all the work it takes to get there? Right. I mean, do you go talk to that person and they'll mm-hmm. tell you 
the endless days, the endless yeah. no's that they got, people mm -hmm. laughing in their face. I mean, it happened to me. Mm -hmm. I've been told no a million times. I've been laughed in my face. And, you know, it, 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 is that going to break you? Is that, is that going to stop you? Well, mm -hmm. you, that relates to your passion, your mm -hmm. drive. And even though you might realize, you know, I'm not going to be the next Van Gogh or the next Daniel Flores, <laughs> life's not over. Yeah. Your passion's still there. You've just changed your direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Understand, okay, I might not want to do this. I might not be good at this. Now, where do I direct this passion, mm -hmm. this drive? Because I can mm -hmm. be good at something. I can mm -hmm. build something that's of value. Let me understand what my passion is. I think that's at the heart of it. Because that passion is what's going to drive you through all of those days of hardship. Mm -hmm. That's the that's gonna that's gonna drive the endurance to keep going when you can't even come close to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's how we built XIQ and the product that we have. I mean, I remember when we were having discussions about can we even sell this or go back to does this even work? Mm -hmm. You know, and the the miles and miles of travel between here's the idea on a napkin to, oh, here's the test unit. Long way between each. You gotta put, you gotta be, you gotta be driven. That mm -hmm. passion to make it happen. Mm -hmm. That's, that, that comes from those years of running and, and the years in acting where I'm like, okay, I know I can do this. It, it's really, in, it rooted in that. So that would be kind of like the core message of what I talk about is, you know, understand the passion. Because mm -hmm. the passion can make the dream come come alive, but understand the passion so that you can have a proper perspective on what the dream is. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because the dream requires work. Mm -hmm. I don't care where you are, the dream's not just going to happen. Right. Okay, it requires work. You have to build it so it's real. But you think of it first. You know, how does the how is it built? It's concepted. It's thought about. Mm -hmm. But Okay, you got. Are you ready to build it? Because you might go, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody has dreams, right? You know, you might go, wow, that's a. Because seriously, someone uh -huh. sits down and says, "Oh, that's your dream. Mm -hmm. Great, that's cool. Come on over here. I'll help you do it. You got to do this, this, this. We, yep. we have to go over here, and then you yep. got to do this. We got to yep. talk to all these people, and we got to do this, yep. and this is going to happen. Oh, and then we might have to switch it, and then go in and. Mm -hmm. Most people say, no, I really, it yep. takes too much to make that mm -hmm. dream happen. Okay, mm -hmm. well, there you are. You, you ask yourself, okay, you saw that dream, it's not necessarily what you want. It still comes back to, but who are you? Mm -hmm. Are you going to just curl up and die? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to find that person, that passion within yourself and move mm -hmm. somewhere else mm -hmm. and try to realize a, a, a different dream or, a, or an alternative version of the dream or a different dream altogether? I need to write that down because um, this year's, uh, my hashtag's been exercise your passion. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and now I'm talking to you, I'm getting a better understanding of what I mean when I say that. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Is that you have to try it out? Yeah. Because having the dream, everybody has dreams, and and uh, as a creative person, in the, an entrepreneur, you're gonna have different dreams all the time. Yeah. There's different ideas that come your yeah. way, um, but you have to exercise that passion to see whether or not that's Absolutely. the dream for you, and know the work that it takes to reach that dream. Absolutely. And uh, so I get it now. I get mm -hmm. it. Um. Uh, the other day, I was thinking. Um, that because I talk to artists all the time, and there you are right there, because I talk to artists all the time, uh, everybody comes to me saying, Dan, I want to be a working artist. I want to get paid for my art. And then we talk about what it's going to take to get there. They have the dream. Yeah. But now this is what it's going to take to get there. And then they realize they don't have enough passion right. to fuel it. And it's over. Right. And then, so then it's like, and so what I've been thinking in, in, in a short amount of words, the, what I see is, I, I've been thinking is, uh, uh, the words are, uh, everybody wants to live the art life until they don't. Yeah. You know, and, this, and that's it. Until, if you, you imagine what, how great these things are, this dream is, until you see the road ahead and then you're like, oh yeah. no. Well, you know, that's the thing that <laughs> is amazing about artists or anyone who's creating, whether you're an entrepreneur, specifically, you're creating a product, or you're creating a service, or you're creating a, a piece of work on a canvas. Mm -hmm. um, it's not real yet. Mm -hmm. So you have to make it real. Yeah. Well, the key word is make. And yeah. it takes work to make it real. It's not just going to appear. 
Mm -hmm. And when it's new and it's never been done before, mm -hmm. even harder. Yeah. Because what you're doing is you're creating something that's brand new. So your challenge now is you got to have the passion to see, to build it, put in the energy, the work, but also you got to have the passion for other people to believe that it it can be. Because mm -hmm. again, you're working in a world that has never seen this before. Mm -hmm. right? So it has to come out of you. It has you to be so deep and hardcore with it. It's just coming out and people can see it and right. feel it. Because people, you're going to explain it to people and they're just going to look at you like, yeah. <laughs> because it's never been done before, <laughs> right? Right. So <laughs> it, it's never been done. I mean, perfect example is um, our product. Um, you know, it's we call it the Stinger, and it's essentially a smart device that replaces the conventional and the, the conventional ignitions on um, everything, every motorized vehicle outside of the automotive industry. Okay, in this industry, you know, people, in, in, especially with golf carts and ATVs and UTVs and they use the same key. So our unit replaces that ignition and it reduces the security risk. You have a pin code, it works with an app. Well, I, we were going into a world that was used to the key. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going into that world that's been used to the key since day one and we're going, no, 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 no. You can put this in place of the key and now you can do all of these different things. And they would look at us like, what? Mm -hmm. Because they'd never seen it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't real. So our job now is not only to build it, make it real, make it happen, but to make this culture believe that this is real, that this can work. That's work. Mm -hmm. You have to change a person's perception. That's mm -hmm. one of the hardest things to do, to turn someone's mind around. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is part of the process. You're creating art. Well, I believe that you know, I can draw a, a picture of... Of, of something, you know, mm -hmm. that no one's ever seen before, mm -hmm. right? You're making some, and I, I, I want to create value in that now. Mm -hmm. Well, th there's your challenge. The work that it's going to take to make this piece of art real, what are the tools that it can make it more effective? How do I spread that word? How do I get people to look at it and say, what is that? Or, wow, that, that means something to me. That resonates with me. You wanted to connect with the viewer, your audience, whomever is consuming it, whether they're buying the product or not. All of these things require you to have the passion to go through every single mm -hmm. step and to make the mistakes and come back mm -hmm. because, oh, you, wrong stroke. Oh, it's over, man. Mm -hmm. I, I worked three hours on this, 10 hours on this, 10 years on this, and I messed up. I got to go back and start all over. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Passion will make you do it because you'll be, you'll be like, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm exhausted, but I got to get back to it mm -hmm. and pound it out with me and perfect it. That's what it's about. That's that journey back to that passion you know we I can't tell you the endless days and nights that you know we worked on our product and learned and customers told us I like this I don't like that you think this and we go all right let's get back to it mm -hmm. take a breath if, mm -hmm. if you don't have the passion you'll quit yeah oh, I'm tired I don't want to do this anymore I'll find something else to do and without the passion you won't um, build on, on on educating yourself definitely right. right. Because this is not your first product as an entrepreneur. Oh, this is not my first crack at it. I mean, which is why, you know, um, many entrepreneurs, failure it doesn't stop them. Mm -hmm. Failure is a lesson. I mean, what is it? You know, what's the saying that Nelson Mandela said? Um, you know, I, uh, I never lose. I either win or I learn. Well, that's the perfect, perfect quote because mm -hmm. that's how you have to look at it. Oh, messed up. Well, now I know what not to do. Let's yeah. move on, right? Yeah. Now that's you know that's half the battle. It's not so much knowing what to do; mm -hmm. it's what not to do. Okay, mm -hmm. I messed up. World's not over. Let me go in this direction. Mm -hmm. Oh, messed up. Got to move on to something else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is you know, probably my fourth crack, fourth or fifth crack at trying to build something and get it going. And um, I think because it's moving so well, it's because of what I've learned and the failures that I've been encountered mm -hmm. in the past. But passion made me get back up and go at it because each of those products were diff projects were different but I knew I wanted to do something mm -hmm. my passion again engagement people really connecting um, our product it's tech driven but for me uh, I always think about how can we engage people with it do customers like it how does it make them feel like they're part of the product and use it and how can we you know uh, use the app to bring people in to pull them into the product 
that's the core of what I do. That's engagement. That's my passion. But mm-hmm. it has absolutely nothing to do with acting. Mm-hmm. Right. It has this is a ours is a tech startup. Mm-hmm. Completely different, yet the passion's the same. I mean, guys on our team that are complete tech junkies, and they're like, oh, you know, the the, the electronics of it, and, the, and that's what drives them. Me, I'm just kind of like, oh, this is cool. How is it? How is a user gonna feel like? You know, this makes them feel like we've thought about them and, and how they use it and the buttons. I mean. Do they, do they feel like we're ignoring them because we only have an app? Which we don't. You can use the hardware and the app. But I don't want people to think that they only have to use an app. They can just use the hardware. There are a lot of people that might not want to use the app. That's engagement. Thinking about people and that. Mm-hmm. That's the how are you going to use their pro- your product? What's going to be their preference? Yeah. How do you make sure that right. they feel comfortable exactly. in the experience? There you go. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, when you're making a work of art, you want to talk to that person that's going to experience because mm-hmm. that's what it is they're going to engage it but you want them to experience your art mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. how do I do that how do I communicate to that what things am I going to put in my art to what message is there mm-hmm. I'm sure that's a lot I'm not an artist in, in the sense of creating uh, you know in, in that sense of the medium but you, you want to communicate to them you want to engage mm-hmm. so you know that's kind of what I work off of as we build our product and as we develop it and so forth. So, um, yeah, but again, it comes back to that passion. You know, passion. passion. Education. How do we learn um, to channel this passion in a productive way that it leads to something? And, um, and well, before you give your answer, I know that I learned a lot, and that's where I met you, mm-hmm. is uh, when I entered the startup world. And I learned what entrepreneurship is and defining um, the fundamentals and how one operates when you start thinking of yourself as an entrepreneur. Yeah. And uh, in a startup is uh, was one of those key words that, that also puts you in a mental attitude where um, you see kind of the elements of a business plan um, with, with hands-on where back in the day a business plan was this 20 page thing yeah. 100 pages of how to run a business without actually having the business right. whereas in the startup world is it's a hands on learning yeah. experience every day so that's was, well, that was my um, my introduction to it where was yours and where did one get an education like that well you know I believe in learning by doing mm-hmm. and um, I remember uh Two things had an impact on me as far as education. Um, you know, I remember when someone told me, you know, college isn't for everyone. Mm-hmm. And at, at that stage, I thought, you know, if you didn't go to university, what else is there? Mm-hmm. And, you know, you learn very quickly that there are many other ways to learn and, and grow. Um, I think part of education or understanding the educational aspect of it is okay I want to learn but how mm-hmm. and what works for me if it's not sitting in a classroom okay but figure out how you're going to learn don't just say well I don't want to sit in class mm-hmm. okay therefore I'm not going to do it mm-hmm. there are other ways to do it for example well, if you don't want to sit in a classroom, go so, go find someone who does it. Mm-hmm. Ask him, talk to them. Ask him if you can spend some time with them. You know, that's basically the loose uh, definition of an apprenticeship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I started to learn um, the value of apprenticing. Um, I saw people doing it, and I started to realize that, wow, you know, okay, if you don't go to school, but you want to do something else, go hang out with people that are really good at it that know what they're doing, they'll, they'll, they'll spend some time with you, they'll talk to you, but let them hammer into you the reality of what they do, because they will. Okay, They'll educate mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. and they'll educate you with the reality, because <laughs> class will tell you, well, you know, here's yeah. one, two, three, and that's fine. Uh-huh. You can learn the technical aspects of it, but then in, but the real world aspects of it, someone who's been in the game that's been doing it, they'll, they'll sit you down and go, huh, all right, you want to be an XYZ? This is what you got to start doing. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, I got to do this for three years before you even get here. What? I, see that you'll start mm-hmm. to get that cold water of reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the educational part of it. That's mm-hmm. what I think for people is listen. If you see something and you think you want to do it, mm-hmm. go talk to someone who's doing it. 
I think that would be the first thing I would say do. Mm-hmm. Before you go taking the classes, before you invest, go talk to someone who wants to. Go see if you can spend some time with them doing it. The, plenty of people out there that'll give their time. They're more mm-hmm. than happy to sit down and talk with you. Mm-hmm. And they'll say, this is the reality. This is the hours you have to spend on it. The, you start to ask yourself, do I really want to do that? Mm-hmm. You know, this is the stuff that is not as glamorous. Right. Whether it's artist, firefighter, you know, astronaut, ditch digger. Mm-hmm. You know, there are plenty of people that are making good money yeah. putting in sewage collection you know, and, or, or digging ditches. They got a niche. They got a business. It's growth. Talk to them because what you'll find is they got a passion and they know all the work that it takes. You got to figure out if that's for you. So the education is the reality that they they go to. Talk to Mm -hmm. people. Again, engagement. Go back and see if your passion equates to the work that is going to be involved. If that's Mm -hmm. what you want to do. And you'll discover very quickly, "Hmm, this isn't what I thought it was. (laughs) Right. I, I don't need to do this. Great. Yeah. Now you don't need to now you don't need to invest your time in that. Turn your mm-hmm. head here, check your passion, and move in that direction. You'll you'll discover what you because once you realize, once you talk to that person, they tell you the work that's involved. And and if you don't flinch, now you know you're passionate about it. Because mm-hmm. passion's gonna just drive you through. Mm-hmm. It, it's one of the things that um people don't really talk about. You know, people want to talk about talent. Athletes. Oh, he's so talented. She's so talented. Uh, man, that's why they're so good. No, it's not. <laughs> talent will get you so far, uh-huh. but it's hard work that's going to take you to the next level. Mm-hmm. The work. Mm-hmm. And it's the work that gets you through the failures. Because you're not going to knock the ball out of the park and it's still rising as it's leaving the stadium. You mm-hmm. don't do that first try. If you did, great, but it takes work. It takes work how to figure that out. Yeah. So the, the education part of it involves getting in there, learning from the people who've done it. Let them listen, shut up and listen. Let them tell you what it's all about because believe they know. Mm-hmm. If you want to be a lawyer, go to a law firm, sit down, you know, put that stack of books on your desk and Get to it. This is what we have to do every day. And if mm-hmm. you realize you don't have a passion for reading or books, hey, mm-hmm. you learn. Go yeah. to talk to your your an artist and say, well, man, did you just do that? No, I had to figure out. I had to do this. Mm-hmm. How did you learn? It may be different from how someone else. Someone may have gone to school mm-hmm. to do it. Someone may have done it perfecting it doing street art. Someone may have perfecting it doing other types of art. But they worked. Mm-hmm. They may have been talented, they may have had the raw talent, but they understood the hard work to mm-hmm. back that talent up yeah. to develop that talent. Yep, that's and, and that's exactly um yeah, you, you hit on everything that I tell artists to do every day. Yeah. 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 Find find somebody who uh whose work you admire, whose work uh you want to um be in the same space. Yeah. And then uh and then see the truth of their career. Yeah. Because we see what they can do now, we haven't. We're we're ignorant to all the years that it took for them to get to that point, right. and we have to understand those. And then, of course, if you see that and you're still down and you still want to do it, then get to it. Yeah, that's yeah, you, great. You'll really and you'll learn something about yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, we you know we've been at it for a few years now, and uh, I remember the beginning, and we were all so excited. Uh, because we were dreaming, you know, the product was <laughs> it's, it's easy to dream. It's like, oh, we can do this, we can do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, gosh, I remember as we were developing our product and, and trying it out on cards and going to people, it was just mm-hmm. kind of fresh and new and it was the beginning and it was like, yeah, but, you know, I remember like going into year two and you, 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 you get it, you get it out, you start to hit problems, you try to, you know, you test it in certain places. We, we tested with one of our first customers and we had issues, but, you know, but we were, but, and it was just Florian and I, you know, Florian, my co-founder, it was just the two of us, but we were passionate, we were driven. Yeah, the work wasn't fun. I mean, I'll tell you, you're going to, I mean, I remember it was a cold February morning and uh, it's 30 degrees out. We're out there installing units and testing them out on these carts. And was that fun? No, absolutely not. Um, 
But did we learn? Oh, absolutely. And were we better for it? Oh, yeah, because we learned something. We learned a shortcoming of our product, which helped, which helped us move forward and make it better. Mm-hmm. And all of the things that, that failed, we learned and made our product better. Mm-hmm. But we were of both of the same mindset of this is going to require work. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to keep working. We're going to have to keep going. We may not see a penny yet, but we have to keep focused. We can keep going. we got to keep our heads in the game. Well, that relates back to my days of running and mm-hmm. auditioning. You know, keep your head in the game. Maintain. Endure. Be disciplined. you got to do that every single day. Mm-hmm. There are going to be days you don't want to sit mm-hmm. down at the computer at night because you're tired and you want to go to bed. Or, mm-hmm. or you know, you don't want to make a particular call. It, but the pa- that something inside of you says, ah, ah, ah. Mm-hmm. But y- you want it, right? How bad do you want it? You start yeah. challenging yourself. And that's mm-hmm. another thing. That passion, <laughs> that passion, it'll come back and get you. Uh huh. That passion's strong enough. Um, it will start to challenge you. You'll start saying, oh, I'm tired. I can't do it. I don't really want to do this. Mm-hmm. But the passion will talk and go, Oh yeah, mm-hmm. is that was that what it takes to break you? Mm-hmm. You don't right. deserve the success. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, is that what it takes? Are mm-hmm. you weak? Okay, well, give up. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Punk. Mm-hmm. Give in. That's right. All that mm-hmm. work now. Go Just, ahead. Go, go ahead. Work. Quit now. Go, go ahead. Now. Yeah, because if that's yeah. what if that's who you are, you don't deserve yeah. the success. Yeah. The, you, you, you'll you, one of the, your greatest enemies is you're gonna be is yourself. You're gonna mm-hmm. be talking to yourself. Oh, I can't do it. Nah. Mm-hmm. You know. All I, I, I tell our team, look, and I, I fortunately have a great team. Everyone's passionate. We work really hard. And, but I always go, guys, remember when we didn't even know if this could sell? Mm-hmm. Like, we question if we, and let's go back before that. Remember when we didn't even know if we could actually make a physical product? Like, each peak that you reach, you go through this valley, but remind yourself of the peak that you had just achieved. Like, when you get in those valleys in that dark space, and I can't do it. Remind yourself, oh, wow, but, you know, I am here. I am. I did achieve this milestone. All right. That pulls you out of that valley, and you achieve the next milestone mm-hmm. and the next. It's always, <laughs> it's, it's, it's always going to be peaks and yeah, valleys, but yeah. you got to remind yourself, you know, I'm, I'm deep in this valley, but, you know, I did climb that last mountain, so mm-hmm. I can climb this next one, right? Mm-hmm. Let, mm-hmm. let me keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let, let just, and that's part of that passion. Well, I'm tired, but... I can get up that I can, I can get up that next peak. Yeah, it's ten times higher than this one, but man, I, I did those last five. I should be able to get like work through it, work through the logic of it, and 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 do the day to day process of working. I mean, you, you're you're going to be so much better for it. But at the end of the day, you go talk to someone who's better than you, who's selling more than you, who can jump higher than you, who can run faster than you, who's selling a million pieces of art. They're gonna tell you the same thing. Mm-hmm. They're human being too. They're gonna mm-hmm. say, yeah, I get tired. I'm a human being. Yeah, I failed here, there, and everywhere, but I kept at it. Mm-hmm. And if you if you want it, you, you'll go get it. You know, you'll right. go after it. So, um, yeah, yeah, like I said, it's good. Passion. So let's move on to the next step. So let's say so you already um, you figured you understood the basics and fundamentals of being an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. You apply them to different things as you've grown in uh, experience and knowledge. And now you're working with uh, Stinger. That's your right. product. And the company name is what? XIQ. XIQ. Where it's, does that come from? What so does that mean? XIQ is short for Electronic IQ. So oh. we spell it, you know, Electron X I Q, mm-hmm. um, and uh, Electronics Intelligence. And um, be honest, we shortened it to XIQ because it was too hard to write it. Electronics IQ on a check, mm-hmm. and you will figure out <laughs> when your customers are paying you and they have trouble writing your name on a check. You learn how to make that name real easy right, to write because right, right. you want that money. That's right. So uh, <laughs> we said, all right, XIQ, and that's right. the name of our company. Um, so like I said, the Stinger, we, we, uh, it really the, the core technology was started by uh, our co-founder, Florian Meyer. He, he lives in Peachtree City. And for those of you in the Atlanta area, you know that's a big golf cart community. And his aha moment was um, he saw all these golf carts getting stolen easily mm-hmm. and he was just kind of like you know and so he, he learned that hey they all use the same keys so they get, they get stolen because it, it takes one key to rule them all yeah, like most the, brands uh-huh. they use the same key set uh-huh. or <laughs> yeah or it's, it's just very it's, similar it's a simil- yeah, uh-huh. very similar uh-huh. simple uh, ignition so he came up with the idea that hey you know what if I could create 
something that replaced that ignition and now it takes a pin code to activate the vehicle. Now it's kind of like mm -hmm. everything else. You have a pin code that mm -hmm. secures the, the product. So that's where it started. And we met up probably about a year or two after he was into this concept. And, you know, we both were kindred spirits because he's a scientist. I tell people he's the brain and I'm the mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's brilliant. And... We both, what, what connected us was the willingness to, to work. You know, we, 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 he, he's German born um, and brilliant and quiet and likes to get into the laboratory and build a better mousetrap. Me, I like to talk, obviously, because I've been running my mouth since we started this. Yeah, movie. you don't give me a room to yeah, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a pause here because Carlos won't shut up. <laughs> But I love our product. Right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he, we, we put our heads together and said, how can we do this? Let's, be, let's work together. Let's get this product done. So we, we realized that, okay, it secures the vehicle. It's easy to put in. Okay. And then we, we, we worked through that over the years, make it easier and better and so forth. And then we had people join the team that we started to discover in this world, it's all about being better. There's so many tools to, uh, to improve. So we said, let's create, let's build on top of this idea and give the customer security first. That's where we attack. That's the problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Found our niche. What's the problem? What's the solution? I mean, that's like the basics of entrepreneurship. Problem was security. Solution, let's give them a pin code access that stops that thief. That's It's too mm -hmm. easy for them. To... So uh, we said, now let's give customer more opportunity more reasons to engage let's give them a mobile opportunity the stinger pro app now allows you to interface with your vehicle on, a, on your smartphone to activate it and deactivate it mm -hmm. Boom. let's let's go further let's make it software driven so that we can update it and make it better mm -hmm. uh, so and and that's the direction we're going so it's like a go. fob but then you get to improve on the fob yeah but a fob is just going to be a button, so right. you can only go so far with a button. And and that's the and mm -hmm. that's the thing, you know. It's we live in a one click world, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody wants a button to do it all, mm -hmm. okay? But we live in a world where now everything's being improved mm -hmm. daily by purely by firmware updates. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to take it back to the shop to have them repair it and then come mm -hmm. back. They can do it. Yeah, you know, it's a download over the download. air. There you go. Boom. Yep. Now it's better. Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. know, so. Yeah. That's where we wanted to offer our customers this new product that's rooted in the real world of today, and it solves an old world problem. Mm -hmm. And then we saw, we thought, okay, for for us, we want to do this for more products. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we knew that, okay, we started with golf carts, but then we discovered, oh, we could do this on boom lifts, mm -hmm. fork lifts. We mm -hmm. started. We started heavy getting, machines. Yeah, right. we started to get contacted by people that said, "Hey, you know what? We have the same problem too." And we said, "What are you talking about? <laughs> See that bulldozer over there? Yeah, yeah. Big same key. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, that that forklift. Same key. Mm -hmm. We have a great customer at Atlantic Station. We've got stingers on all of their vehicles, and I mean forklifts, boom lifts, scissor lifts. Their utility vehicles, their golf carts. Mm -hmm. They kept telling us, "Yeah, we these vehicles all have." So what we realize is that we, we can create a product that can move across all of these verticals into these different vehicles and serve them too because they have that issue while it enables us to create a product that lets customers know, oh, they're thinking about us. It's great for us because we can sell more product, but we show that we're doing the hard work to expand our product. Mm -hmm. Well, the passion there is it, it's the same, but it's different. But the... The, the action is different for everyone. Florian, well, he's all about the electronics. Me, I'm all about engage, engaging the new customer, tell, mm -hmm. telling them the story, how mm -hmm. this works for them. What, what are your problems in this space? Mm -hmm. How can we address it? Well, our software can be adjusted to address your issues. That's mm -hmm. how we customize. Mm -hmm. um, Steve Vick, who's our VP of engineering, his, his passion is the Bluetooth, the connectivity of it. Mm -hmm. So we all have our different uh, mediums of engagement. Of, of 
making the product better, but we're all passionate about the work. Mm -hmm. You know, Steve will call me, you know, late at night, hey, I got an idea. And I'm like, all right, let me sit back, relax, and grab the bag of popcorn. Because when Steve Vick calls me <laughs> with an idea, I listen because yeah. they're great ideas. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that, that, that's the march that we've made. And I'm proud to say that we've moved from land to sea. We did mm -hmm. our first uh, test on a boat. Mm -hmm. Boat, peop, uh, boat a dealer talked to us and said, hey, boat's kind of, we could use security. We said, really? Mm -hmm. So the message here is you work hard, you build a product, you think as you're building, you work hard to think about how can I expand the product. You take the time to talk to your customers. You mm -hmm. do the footwork. That customer that's, discovery, that yeah, I wanted discovery. to point that out. Absolutely. That's, that, that's when you talk to your customers. Customer discovery. Customer mm -hmm. discovery mm -hmm. is, it's some of the best and, and, and sometimes some of the worst feedback. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That yep. you can get. Yep. But it's all for the better. Because mm -hmm. there are customers that are going to say, this is good. Mm -hmm. This is great. I love it. Mm-hmm. You'll have customers that are going to say, this is horrible, and here's why. Mm -hmm. Those are the best customers. And you have to listen to them because you those listen to your customers. Them. And if the customer saying no, then you don't have a product, you don't have a company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you want to listen to the customers that are dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to say we haven't had many. But we've had some that said, this isn't working. Fix this. Fix that. Well, mm -hmm. it makes product better. Mm -hmm. You listen to that. Don't shy away. You, I don't want to hear. You, nobody wants to hear mm -hmm. that their baby's ugly. Mm -hmm. But you need to listen to it because that's reality and it will make it better. Mm -hmm. And it requires work because then you got to follow up. Well, how do I fix this? Mm -hmm. Okay, more work. Got to go back to the lab, fix it, mm -hmm. make it better. But I'm telling you, you'll be grateful for the work that you put in to make it a better product because mm -hmm. when it comes out and then you see more customers that are happy, you're like, I'm glad we did that. I'm mm -hmm. glad we took the time because believe me, I've taken the time. We've done a lot of talking. Raising money, that's another topic. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work, but it, it makes a better product. And, and again, like I said, like I said, we, I don't think we'd be here talking about moving over to boats now if we hadn't listened yeah. to people taking the time. Right. That's good. It's exciting. All right. So um, we're going to uh, take a moment to um, talk about Sketchable because I want you to draw on this Surface Pro here. And the show just ended because I can't draw. <laughs> 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 I'll try. I'll but you can act like you draw because you're a good actor. <laughs> I can see here. Stick figure. Uh, stick figure. But um, um, uh, before I get into it, I yeah. want you to think about, um, about um, what you will say to someone who wants to follow some of your footsteps as an entrepreneur. And I mentioned to you earlier um, the lean canvas. Yeah. And, uh, and so we'll talk about that in a second because as an artist... Um, I have my background in, is, uh, mm -hmm. is in sales because I saw my mother sell. I saw my mother sell Avon, Tupperware, vitamins, and so on as a kid. So my brother and I would sit in the corner and be quiet while the women would talk about the products and my mother would sell to them, yeah. the Tupperware, and, uh, and I heard her over and over and over and stuff. And so when it came time for me to sell my art and sell myself and pitch myself, um, I, I, I brought that, yeah. in, that from the back of my head and, uh, and so, but it is that, um, having those fundamentals, like you mentioned, uh, the, um, customer discovery and what problem are you solving? Art could solve a problem, but it's really an extra thing that is, uh, that as a consumer, so we want to have. And so you have to tie that into the, the person's feelings. And you have to say it and talk about it and, sh and, and build on it to be able to make those right. sales. And, uh, and so, and that's where the entrepreneurship helped me because then it helped me shape, well, how do I go from somebody who can draw and maybe sell a drawing to one who can produce and scale and then make more money with the same amount of art that I was doing before right. uh, so that you were smarter and not harder and all those things. Absolutely. So we'll get into that in a second. So first thing is... Uh, let me check any um, uh, messages here. I'm, I think I'm missing out on the messages for the live stream. But if you're here, please say something. And as I mentioned before, if you are, um, if you download Sketchable on your Windows 10 uh, tablet, laptop, two-in-one, whatever, you can draw on it and test it out for free. Download it from the Microsoft Store. And, uh, and if you share some of your artwork with the hashtag 
artist king underscore sketchable, uh, I'll be giving away the uh, unlocked code so that you can have free range on the app. How about that? All right, so we're gonna go into that now and let me switch cameras. Because um, what's cool about, um, and about Sketchable, uh, of course we have Surface Pros here. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, clear my canvas. These are my notes from today. Mm -hmm. And that's from when I was gonna draw you right there because I already did the drawing. All right, cool. And so basically what you just see me do is create layers. And what's cool about drawing with layers is that um, you can do a sketch, get the idea out, like your MVP, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, yeah, it's gonna have to have something like this, and then you create another layer, and then your next layer, now you're cleaning up the artwork and saying, well, um, the first set of lines was there to help mm -hmm. guide my next shape. Mm -hmm. And then once you get to a point that you're happy with that, you get turned off and get rid of the other oh, one. Oh, wow, cool. So, so, so you kind of build on the artwork. And, uh, and sketch your way through it. Like Whereas when it's on paper, you use a pencil, very lightly, and then you come in and make it a little harder with right. the pencil, and then finally you come in with the ink pen and erase the pencil. So kind of having the same process, but yeah. all digital. Uh, I like Sketchable because it is a very simple app that has very simple tools. And uh, we got a pen, um, ink pen, um, pastels, markers, pencil, airbrush, a, br a paintbrush, and then an eraser. And, uh, and, uh, and it's real, it's very simple to select one, adjust the thickness, adjust the opacity, and then quickly change colors if you're one of those people who likes um, the color wheel and so on. And then, uh, and if you have like a color that's already here, you can use the color picker, picker to pick a color that's on the screen. Mm. So, uh, so it's a very awesome app that yeah. is very simple and uh, it, it gives you a wide range of, um, of, uh, of uh, tools. And let me just show you what you can do with this app. And I drew this on myself. Thanos. Yeah, but that's Danos. <laughs> Danos. Yeah, so somebody, uh, I think, uh, I forgot his name, Mason, I think, uh, he... Uh, on uh, Facebook, he saw it and he said, "And Daniel. the Infinity Stones are different colored mm -hmm. and markers and crap. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that is cool, and that is built on layers so that they all play on each other, and it's one big drawing. Uh, let's see, there, there we go. A big smile on. Yeah, Daniel's right. A big face. smile. Yeah. And so these are all the layers that it takes to build that drawing. How long did it take you to do something like this? A couple of days sitting around. I went to visit my mother uh, last uh, early this month, so mm -hmm. I was sitting around drawing." Yeah, with her hanging out at the house. Yeah, just so that's what it's all about right there. A couple days. Yeah, yeah, just a couple days. Yeah, but it doesn't... You know, most people go, a couple days. I don't want to mm -hmm. spend a couple days. But see, a couple days. That's what it this takes. Is what, mm -hmm. This is what it takes. But that's what you're willing to do. Like, right. it didn't bug, like a couple days wasn't a big deal to you. Mm -hmm. No, a couple days. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, a couple days to do something? Mm -hmm. If it can't be done in five minutes, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's, you know... And, 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 and it's taken me uh, years... To work it down to a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> in the beginning, it took me days, right, right, weeks, right, to get it done. And that's the thing. A couple of days. Well, ask him how long it took him the first time he did it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. The first it's a time. different story, right? Yeah. To mm -hmm. get to this point. Mm -hmm. That's the journey. That's the journey. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, you're gonna go ahead and uh, grab your surface, and uh, and you can uh, close this out if you want. There you go. And over here. Is, using this or, yep, okay. using that, and uh, over here is Sketchable. Cool. So let me separate the key, keyboard, and um, and you use the pen. Hold on, let me get rid of that. There we go. Turn it around. Turn the pen around. There we go. Just like that. Draw on it. Draw something. Mm -hmm. Draw your name. Can you write your name? Yeah, I can write it. Can you write your name? <laughs> yes, First grade. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to write my name. Yeah. There you go. You see yeah. that, how simple it is? Simple enough, simple enough. Yeah. And why is your name with a K? Who, who Why did not? That? I dare to be different. You dare to be different. I'm going to draw a little face here. I'm going to draw a nose. Draw a mouth. Put some teeth. I'm going to draw some ears. I'm just going to have a little fun with this because this, uh, this is pretty fun. Yeah, it's good, good, good. Draw some hair, a little bit of a crop on top. Draw some more hair, make a big ear. 
my uh, big old Adam's apple and my pencil neck. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can uh, get this uh, exposure to adjust. All right. Now we can see. Sorry, everybody. Now you can. Let's go here. There we go. Better. All right. There you go. That's good. Hey, you know how to draw. <laughs> I don't know how to scribble. I don't know how to draw. I'll do something. I didn't right. draw that. Look you didn't that. draw that. <laughs> Two more days. In two more days, you get me there. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> so um, um, uh, when uh, when as an entrepreneur, yeah. I think um, there's a few um, things to keep in mind. Yeah. And uh, and you said one of those uh, was um, let me check my notes. Is um, start with you have a problem, a um and um. Um, um, solution yes. and then um, and then you have to think of your customers and you need to have the, the product and, and and I think uh, one of the things we kind of bypass when but we mentioned it because you say you have to improve on it is the MVP mm -hmm. and that stands for minimum viable product people because that is what you take to the market to mm -hmm. see whether or not you have gonna have uh, customers or not yes mm -hmm. and getting to that MVP that is a journey. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to talk about building something. You are now entering the world of the world of building it, mm -hmm. um, and that is a very, very uh, difficult process. People don't want to hear that, but um, the the more complex that you're making your product to solve a solution, but the easier you want it to be for your end user, the more difficult it is. Mm -hmm. to build it on the back end mm -hmm. and you know we live in a world where you want people to be attracted to your product you don't you don't want them to have to have difficulty using it you want it to be easy i mean look how easy uh the sketchable is mm -hmm. but i'm sure the coders and all the software developers on the back end did a lot of work to make it this simple i mean yeah I'm and this is not the first version yeah it's like <laughs> It's, it was yeah. easy for me to do this. Yeah. But a lot of work on the back end, I'm sure, uh -huh. to make it easier on the front end. And to make it enjoyable and right. intuitive. And you can just, mm -hmm. oh, you just got to do that. That color's there. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. So, um, you know, that journey takes time. Mm -hmm. And you've got to figure out uh, not only how you want it to be, but you start to, the, the division changes a little bit. It adjusts. You start to think, well, do we need this piece of functionality do customers really need this piece here is this a waste of time to put this in or is it something we do later that we put in as far as part of the opportunity on the product um part of the journey involves and something we haven't talked about but it is essential to the journey is fundraising mm -hmm. right which we never got around to which i wanted to yeah. talk to you um yeah. but mm -hmm. a large part of your mvp Getting to your MVP is raising the funds to make it real, mm -hmm. especially if, you're in, if it's tech. Um, but you know, it's um, you know, I met a wonderful person named Tiffany Crummins. She she made Ava the Elephant, which is now a wildly successful product. But you know, she had to raise funds to get there, mm -hmm. and you know, makes she's making. She's a great person. I'm glad she deserves every ounce of success. But she had to go through a lot of work. And she had to raise money, and there's a journey involved there. And uh, let me tell you, folks, you're gonna do a lot of talking. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do the same, the same, just like you talked about mm -hmm. your mom selling it, selling it, and having the groups talking. And you heard her say the same thing. You got to be ready to say that over and over again. Mm -hmm. You can't get sick of talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to walk people through it. And and you know, a lot of our investors, they came, they invested in our product, sight unseen. Well, that's really tough to to build that picture, to cr to create that narrative, to show them the dream when it's not even in real and tangible, to get them to believe it, to go, I'm going to write a check because mm -hmm. I believe you can do that. You've got to be able to have that conversation, take the time, explain it to them, have several mm -hmm. conversations mm -hmm. to get them to believe in you, to push you forward, to help push you forward. That's hard work. 
Mm -hmm. That is difficult. Mm -hmm. You get frustrated. And you talk to a lot of people because it's a numbers game. If you figure, I'm going to have to talk to 200 people to get 20 of them to commit. Because mm -hmm. you're going to hear a lot of no's. You're going to hear a lot of no's. Mm -hmm. Okay? And get ready. Um, and if no cripples you, don't get into this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to look yep. at... You got to look at no as not right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you think about that. You you think about that. I'll get back to you. No. Uh huh. I hear what you're saying, but let me just give you some time to mm -hmm. just you know think that through. Yeah. No. Of course, you may not feel positive about this, but why don't I give you a call in a couple of weeks and you kind of sleep on it and see? You can't look at it as no. Story's over. You have to look at it as no is just delayed opportunity. It's not the end. Mm -hmm. And if it is the end, well, in the meantime, that person said no. You've already talked to 10 other people that said maybe, yes, ah. You just move on. Just look at no as, all right, I'll just change my direction and go to the next person. Y you have to think that way in this game. You have to be like a pinball. Boing, 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 boing. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Mm -hmm. This doesn't work. Move over here. Mm -hmm. This person says it. Move over here. Oh, this is a yes. Great. Drives me over to... Mm -hmm. Keep moving and understand it's part of the process. Mm -hmm. Anything that's worthwhile takes time. And and but and, I'm, and those people you're talking to, they're not just random people. They, you target specific people right. because right. You, your product fits, your company right. profile fits, their goals and right. their vision for right. themselves also. And that's another thing when you talk about targeting. Understand your audience. Um, you have to realize that some people are dreamers. Some people, they can't imagine something unless they can hold it and feel it. Uh, and you got to try to target the people that are the dreamers, that are the people in the world that are willing, th th that small number of that population, that first adopter population, that 13% that are willing to take a chance on something new. Mm -hmm. They're out there. They're just needles in a haystack. But you still got it's it's worth it to work through to get to them because they will work with you. They'll give you a chance and that 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 whole thing. Now, you've got to understand too how you craft your story. Because mm -hmm. not everybody is going to the same story is not going to resonate with this everybody. Right. right. You gotta understand who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. You know, how you tell them about the product, mm -hmm. figuring out their sweet spots, what's important to them. Different people are going to invest for different reasons. Uh, we've got people that we, our, our investors, I, they are angels. I love them, and they're the most important people on that list because remember, that's their money that's that's pushing your product. You got to work hard to make that money develop into more money. But they each have different reasons of why they find our product important, um, and you understand that. You understand what you communicate to them. You keep them engaged because I guarantee you every single month, I still talk to every, I communicate to all our investors about what we're doing. Keep them in the loop. This, you know, they have, a, there's a saying called, you know, pay and pray. People invest in you and then you don't talk to them for a few years and mm -hmm. they, hope, <laughs> they hope that money's growing. No, they, we, consider, uh, we consider them part of the team. Uh -huh. I would say to anyone, whether you're talking to an investor, a backer, somebody who wants to loan you cash, let them feel like they're a part of the team. They're part of the process. Mm -hmm. Pull them in. That's my passion. Engagement. How can I pull you as, in as an investor to be a part? You feel like you're a part of this. I'm going to communicate with you. I'm going to tell you what we're doing, how it's moving forward. What do you think? Give me your thoughts. Do you have any questions? Write me. Tell me. It's work, but it's worth it. But if you think that way, you move forward. There's mm -hmm. progress and so forth. But I'll stop talking. It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a, a lot. lot. We need hours. Yeah. Because uh, and what you're saying it relates to artists because uh, we look for sponsorships on right. Right. And uh, and so our message has to align with their vision. Yeah. Yeah. And not all sponsors are the same, so we have to um, uh, yeah. turn that pitch to fit that right. that sponsor that we're talking right. to. And we have to communicate with them and then show them how is it beneficial mm -hmm. to them to align themselves to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it all translates exactly from entrepreneurship to a creative if it's you're in the business of right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it I mean, makes sense. I mean, you 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 want 
you want to be able to be flexible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you want to bend. You don't want to break because as an artist, you want to stay true to what you're doing specifically. Now, this is where we talk about focus. You know, entrepreneurship, focus. Focus on what you're doing. A lot of other ideas you come up with because if mm -hmm. you're a dreamer and you're a creator, lots of ideas. Find one, focus, know that you're going to focus on that for years. Mm -hmm. Let the other butterflies float around, but don't go mm -hmm. getting distracted. Mm -hmm. Key. Same thing with being an artist. But if you're going to stay true to that core message, core product, core niche, great. But if, if there's an investor or a backer or a supporter, supporter or so forth, that they say, well, I've got this over here. This is an initiative that's important to me. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. See if it, is, if, if it aligns or if it's close. Mm -hmm. talk about how you can make it work don't just write it off mm -hmm. now if it's completely out of left field it has nothing to do with what you're doing right you wouldn't mm -hmm. want, want to you, you don't want to talk to that person and you don't want to get into the trouble of letting money distract you and go in a different way mm -hmm. stay true to course mm -hmm. help them understand what you're doing and if they say oh well we're 90 percent of the way or 85 percent of the way on the same page how can we work together? Right. Yeah, you can find you can find a way. Just mm -hmm. stay, but focus. Mm -hmm. Focus, 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 focus. Yes. Focus. I oh yeah, I, that's one of my main. It, it's gotta be. That's I mean, hard. It's hard. And and I get it. I mean, mm -hmm. dude, I I think of stuff all the time, and I, I'm telling you, Florian, who is the most focused person on our team, he's always like, yeah, but Carlos, remember we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Florian. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. you can, <laughs> Because you, know, you just get excited and yeah. you think, oh, let's do this and let's do that. Ah, you got to just uh -huh. stay focused, people, because yeah. you will get yourself into trouble and uh, go off on, on some tracks that you really don't want to go down. Okay. So we've run out of time, but here's what we're going to do. Right. I am starting a um, meetup um, for younger uh, kids uh, and teens sure. who are still in school. I believe that if you follow your passion or exercise that passion now... You may find your business before you even out of high school. So we're working with a local library to uh, set up some dates. And okay. what I would like is to invite you to come over and talk about that entrepreneurial I'm there. Um, uh, fundamentals and, uh, and how we can work on our lean canvas yeah. so that identify our focus and then know what, to, how, what moves to make right after that. I'm there. So that way... Because I wanted to kind of go over that, but that's going to take a good little chunk of time. We can do another so, show. So we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do another show. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So we're going to ask you um, two more questions. Uh, number one is, where do we find you online? Okay. And, uh, and what's there? Ready? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So go to teamxiq.com. T-E-A-M-X-I-Q.com. And that's our website. And you'll see our glorious product, The Stinger, and all that we're doing. Uh, you can go to XIQ on YouTube to see all of our um, products. It's uh, XIQ, that's the name of the channel. Um, tune in and you'll see all of our products in action, demo videos, instructional videos, and so forth. You can reach me at carlos at teamxiq.com. That's mm -hmm. carlos, K-A-R-L-O-S, at teamxiq.com. We can discuss why it starts with a K if you get in touch with me. Um, and also you can contact us at getstung at teamxiq.com because it's the stinger and we tell people get stung with the stinger <laughs> all right all right people like it people get like it. getting stung we're going to redefine the meaning of the term get stung get stung yeah all right i like it i like it so last question is um if you were in front of uh carlos of 10 years ago as he is embarking on his entrepreneur, mm -hmm. entrepreneurial path. Yeah. I don't know how many years ago it was, but let's, let's say 10. About 10 years, yeah. All right. Um, what would be uh, one or two pieces of advice that you give him? I would tell him, whatever you do, focus on that. Um, but check your passion. What I mean is, you may be focused, and you may think you're passionate about it, but understand that passion could drive you into a brick wall. Just understand what you're doing, pay attention. The focus is going to show you if this is going anywhere. Don't get distracted. You'll learn if this is going to work or not. And if it doesn't, fine, because if you have the passion, you'll be able to move to the next thing, and the next, and so forth. 
and focus on each one of those. So that would be uh, probably the, you know, make sure you understand your passion, make sure you, you know, maintain focus, and, in, and be prepared to endure. Be prepared to endure because you will go through trials. It will be hard. You will get tired. You will get discouraged. Endure. Endure the pain. Endure the boredom. Endure the whatever. The goal is there. You set it. You may not see the, the, the glory or the, the reward, but you need to learn to endure. It's hard. Endure. Do you have what it takes to push through? That's right. Those are the things I loosely say. All right. Very good. Hey, you reminded me. Yeah, because I saw him like Sam Flax. <laughs> Cash money. And we're back because you could probably see us. And we're still here because I got to give uh, Carlos his goodie bag. Goody, goody. Big ups to Sam Flax for Sam it. Flax, Sam Flax. Thank, Thank you. Thank you Sam. very much. Thank you very much, Sam Flax. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all mine. Do, all I, yours. do I reveal what it is? You yet? can, you can. Take your time, open it up. All right, everybody. We'll talk soon. Yay. Peace. Thank you, Sam. There we go. And the music plays. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. That was.